Yeah, it's Blender with another banger. We're talking about the Grave Digger General, NBA Young Boy, who was just picked up by the feds when they did a sweep on Grave Digger Mountain and accused him of a fraudulent narcotics operation. Kentrell Golden, globally known as NBA Young Boy, was booked into the county jail on suspicion of one count of second degree felony possession of a dangerous weapon by a restricted person. One count of felony pattern of unlawful activity. 20 counts of third degree felony identity fraud. 19 counts of third degree felony forgery. 19 counts of misdemeanor procuring or attempting to procure prescriptions. And one count of misdemeanor possession of marijuana. We have secured the documents linked to his arrest and it appears we have some details of the fraudulent operation that he's accused of running. He was accused of having his associates make calls to local pharmacies posing as patients with fraudulent names and calling on behalf of doctor offices with legit information and claiming to be filing prescriptions for fraudulent patients who didn't exist. Doing an analysis of the paperwork, we can see a variety of names were used, such as Alice White, Francine White, Beatrice White, Francine Taylor, and Gwendolyn Cox were used as fraudulent names to obtain permethazine with codeine, also known in the streets as lean. Youngboy's associates would go as far as calling the sheriff's office for permission after the pharmacy would tell them they need authorization to fill the prescriptions after they got suspicious from receiving multiple daily phone calls from Mr. and Mrs. White trying to get their daily lean prescription. Youngboy has been proud about his drug use, posting various pills and lean on his social media platforms with many fans concerned and even the prosecutor mentioning to the judge that he should be back in custody and young boy refusing to stop using drugs even telling the court that he will not stop hear what dj academics had to say when he covered that report because federal prosecutors are asking nba young boy that they're accusing him of breaking or violating the terms of his house arrest by using unspecified drugs and telling his supervising officers that he has no intentions of stopping. Just think about that, just, just that in, its, in itself. You're telling me that US federal prosecutors are saying he violated his, his, his terms of his um, you know, house arrest by using drugs and the people who were supervising him said, yo, could you please stop doing drugs? And young boy said, bitch, I ain't stopping. That sounds crazy, right? If we analyze the words of young boy, we hear him say on the song, my address public, poured up off that codeine. I'm strapped, I'm moving slowly. That means he's intoxicated off that promethazine with codeine that he's obtaining from the pharmacies. And he's also in possession of a dangerous weapon, a firearm which the indictment also alleges. After authorities executed the search warrant, they read young boy his Miranda rights and he agreed and consented to an interview. And they asked him about the prescription medication in his residence. And he provided the doctor's name and information. And they asked him about the weapons and he denied having possession of the weapons. But further admitted that two days earlier, he had grabbed one of the weapons and placed it inside of a drawer. NBA Youngboy further stressed that his wife was a legal gun owner and it was in her possession at all times. NBA Youngboy would paint a different picture on his song Out Nothing. He says, she the one bought me the mop and I gave it to Youngin. I told them just for to go shoot. A mop is a firearm. On my address public, Young boy also declares, tell him that I'm on them, my address public, cause I gotta chop around this mother, I got my Glock out, I'm trying to blow at something, which gave the feds indication that he's armed and ready for an altercation. 
young boy was already on house arrest for another firearms case. And this federal case will only complicate his legal matters. It appears that young boy was preparing for a legal showdown in a song peacefully titled, We Shot Him In The Head, Huh? DOJ invested me. I'm caught up with the feds, huh? Hold on. Boom. Young and put him on the news. Saw a video ain't move. I told him I'm out my mind. I'm a effing fool. So in this song, he's admitting that the Department of Justice might be investigating him. But he's still going to display an aggressive use of force if you ever mess with the Gravedigger General NBA Youngboy. The Gravedigger General NBA Youngboy is being held on no bond and will cover the story as it develops and his lawyers have said that he maintains his innocence and he has been falsely accused in the past. And we can also say on Blender Bars that Youngboy is not guilty of any crimes until convicted in the court of law and that he does not, I repeat, he does not run a gang called 4KT that he is the general and top head of. All right, it's Blender Bars with another exclusive. Subscribe for more content. Until next time, nobody bigger than a chat. It's Blender, I'm out.